What's up my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your very first time to stop by or to see me for the very first time guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button and remember turn on the notification bell too so that you're the very first person to get notified each and every time I'm uploading any new video. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I don't take you for granted. I always appreciate all of you. Thank you so, so much for always giving me that great support. And so guys, in today's video, you're going to be looking around or seeing this video here. Jamaicans. One and only Jamaican. Yo, baby. <laughs> Jamaicans. They actually don't want to be called blacks. They don't want to be called black or Africans. They actually don't want to be called Africans. This is what the Jamaicans I've got to say they consider themselves as not black or African people they don't want to be called Africans they most of them are saying that they don't have the African ancestry they believe they are not Africans and you actually know that in Jamaica a lot of Jamaicans are actually black in color but quite interesting this is an, an irony they don't want to be called Africans so let's go straight into this video and find out about this you're Jamaican right Oh my god, here we go. I know you're trying to take it. This ignorant Jamaican. Huh? I just want to repeat the question. Are you Jamaican or African? The question in and of itself is inherently flawed and reeks of bad faith. Because one, Jamaica is a country and Africa is a continent. Secondly, when that question, are you Jamaican or are you African, is asked, the question is not about a ancestry, it's about a present day identity. So Jamaicans are very much aware and claim their African ancestry. Many claiming the modern state of Ghana, claiming that the majority of enslaved Jamaicans came from the Gold Coast. While others lay claim to the modern state of Nigeria, claiming terms such as Red Evo and words like Uno being their rationale. And there's even a few who cite Sierra Leone as their ancestral place of origin due to the fact that many enslaved Jamaicans actually were sent back to Sierra Leone and the similarity between Jamaican Patoa and Sierra Leone Creole. God, here we go. I know you're trying to take it. This ignorant Jamaicans. Huh? I'm not African, bro. I'm this is a few minute video, so you won't be able to hear what he said. But his best. Uh huh. Very well explained. Very good clarification here, guys. This guy has actually told us that not all Jamaicans are denying they're Africans. Jamaicans. He's even told us some of the Jamaicans they claim they've got some ancestry in Sierra Leone. So they believe they are still African. And then he's actually clarified here. He's given us some clarification, telling us that, for example, Africa is a continent. Jamaica is a country. There are two great similarities there, two great differences there to differentiate between Jamaica is a country and Africa is a continent. Michael is saying that all Jamaican people that say that they're not African. So, for example, if you go to a Jamaican person and said, "What are you?" Be like, "Oh, I'm Jamaican." Be like, "Oh, no, you're African," because you know you're black. Be like, "No, I'm Jamaican," because we don't fully identify with African people. That word, they're just ignorant. And let me explain why I disagree with this statement. Obviously, we know that we are of African descent. But if you know the history of Jamaica, you know that its people are not just the descendants of the enslaved Africans that came. Our motto in Jamaica is out of many one people. This is so because of the history of Jamaica. People that you see in Jamaica now are the descendants of, yes, the enslaved West Africans that were brought here. The slave owners themselves from Britain and elsewhere, indentured laborers that came from India and China, the Tainos that lived in Jamaica before anybody else got there, the Irish that came at some point, I remember if it was indentured laborship, indentured laborship as well, but the Irish came as well. So our people here, melting pot, mixture of all those different people that came to Jamaica at different times for different reasons. For Jamaican people in general to now just claim Africa, just African, doesn't make any sense. Our culture is not just influenced by West African culture. Bits and pieces of our culture that we see in Jamaica right now are taken from these different people that came here. And they didn't just live separately. They may have started all that way, but they intertwined, they intermixed, they had different, they had babies together, they mixed cultures together, households are mixed. So the people are mixed. I don't want anybody looking at me and be like, mixed. He's really explaining this very well. The different cultures, the different people that you are seeing in Jamaica, they were picked or collected from the different people that come or came and settled in Jamaica. This is why, or this is what comprises 
the Jamaican people. And she believes, and she's actually clarified so well, that the Jamaicans, they know well and they believe they're Africans. She even said, even just from the skill corner, Jamaicans are still Africans. Jamaica people not mixed, we're black. That's not what I mean. Ancestry-wise, we are mixed. So we're not gonna identify with just West African culture, so why would we then claim just African culture? You're also making the assumption that everybody in Jamaica is of West African descent. Most of us are, of course, because the population was mostly slaves, um, but other people are not. Another thing as well is that, we, personally, and I'm sure a lot of other Jamaican people puts in the comments if you agree, don't know much about African culture. We know the bits and pieces that are, inter that are intertwined in Jamaican culture right now, of course. We know that where it's from, yeah, but African culture, and I know that there's many different subsets of African culture because it's a big continent, right? But especially West Africa, because that's where most of the slaves came from that came to Jamaica. We don't know anything about that. We don't know anything about the culture back in Africa. So why do we then claim to be African? I am of West African descent, yes, but I'm also of Scottish descent, right? Someone else may be of Indian descent and West African descent. Some another Jamaica may just be Indian and Chinese. You don't know point we don't say that we're african because we're not just african and saying that we're african deletes the rest of our ancestry and history right we all know yeah that all black people originate from africa we know that and we're proud yeah but you know you got afro beats and you got bashman yeah both of them are nice so when you go out make it equal don't be trying to play 10 Afro beats tune and then all the Africans expect us to dance away to their tunes. Yes, they are nice, but our tunes are good too. So when we're playing 10 fucking bashment, yeah? Don't be there screwing up your face after the second or third one or be laughing. What's funny about our music, huh? I've been dancing to a chikabaka, a chikabaka, a chikabaka, a chikabaka, a chikabaka, a chikabaka, oh, what the fuck is that? Up to now, I don't even know what the fucking song says, but I love it. Do you get me? <laughs> so when you're hearing our tune, you might not know what the man is saying, the Jamaican man, because sometimes they talk harsh, yeah? Just dance to the beat, like we dance to the beat of your tunes. Simple. You cannot tell the average Jamaican right now that they are African, even though 90% of the population is predominantly of African descent. You can tell the Indian that they are Indian and they have a clear sense of what Indianness looks like and, and, and feels like. But you ask about the Africans and then people look sideways at you and wonder if you're going mad and, and, and have a, 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 a retort ready for you to say, no, no, we are Jamaican. But if you came from Africa as corn and are planted in Jamaica or Trinidad or Tobago, you don't become peas, you're still corn. So it, it is, again, a disconnection, a disconnect between um, our past selves and our sense of history and the, 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 the loss of that sense to the reconstruction of ourselves in other people's image. I think for sure Jamaica is in Africa. I don't care what the geographers say because do you know how much that scarred me when I was 10? Do you understand? So there's a video going around of what appears to be a Chinese Jamaican woman uh, really coming for black African people from Jamaica, particularly those of us who live a foreign year in relation to issues of blackness, Africanness and the possession of a passport or lack thereof. People are sending me this video and are asking me where my office about it. And the reality is, I have nothing to say to she. Any non-African person from Jamaica or anywhere else in the world that has a problem with Africans from Jamaica, yard or foreign, asserting our Africanness and our blackness, that a feeding problem. This is not something that we should feel the need to justify, apologize for, or even explain. Especially when you consider the colonial and neo-colonial experience of African Jamaicans and how that results in the migration of African Jamaicans as well as the extent to which 
decolonizer attempted to sever us from a sense of heritage and a sense of culture. That alone tell you everything where you need to know about the mentality of the smuddy will make that the video then. So I have nothing more to say about that except to affirm the teachings of Marcus Mosiah Garvey when Africans of his time were being challenged in relation to our affirmation and assertion of racial and cultural pride. Let contrary sentiments and cross opinions go to the winds. We are entitled to our own opinions and not obligated or bound by the opinions of others. I won't. Having said that, I was listening to Running African, hosted by Sister Kabo Ma'at Keru Wadeya, and she featured a story on some events and conversations that were taking place in Jamaica on this issue. Take a listen. You notice that there is a big conversation going on here in Jamaica right now about Mark Golding and whether or not he's black or white. And you heard a response where you know we have all kinds of people because out of the, the motto is out of many one <laughs> so this is what we're hearing now right that oh we have chinese jamaican we have indian jamaican and so on and and, and the person who was speaking i think it might have been mr morgan himself you know called out every other race jamaican apart from african jamaican that in itself was telling. So it does seem, yes, that the African Jamaican's assertion and affirmation of our Africanness does seem to make some people very, very uncomfortable. And we should be aware of this and what agenda it serves. But beyond that, make we assert with Africanness and with blackness without fear or favor. And not make nobody make you feel shame or make you feel like you do them something wrong when you assert your blackness and your Africanness. Our heritage and our culture cannot be bound by a passport and cannot be dictated to us by anybody other than ourselves if we are guided by the principle of self-determination. Well said there, very well, very, very well expounded and good clarification there. I do think guys that the Jamaicans are Africans. You've seen in this last video, this guy is telling us they're actually not denying that of Afri Jamaicans are of African origin. They cannot deny that is a fact. And he believes that Jamaicans are Africans. And in another video we heard that another lady telling us that Jamaicans, Jamaica is actually compromised, compromised. It's compromising, it's like it comprising a lot of people there, different cultures, different people there. A lot of people that originated from other countries. So Jamaica has got a lot of nationalities there, comprising what is called now Jamaica. There are a lot of people coming from different countries. And the fact is that, that remains is that Jamaicans are still Africans. No matter what, they are still remain from Africa. They, they came from Africa and they originated from Africa. This is what they know. Even if they are still Jamaicans, but they actually originated from Africa. So guys, thank you so much. Do you think that Jamaicans are Africans or not? Let me know your take on this in the comment section. And let's tune in next time for another certain reaction. Bye-bye.